So the number one and the number two seeds do battle in the men's singles final here at the Malaysian Open. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, he shot. On my left, Chen Long, China. <laughs> Li Shang Wei to serve. Love all, play. It's a wonderful start for the 10-time former champion. Well, if this man, Chen Long, wins today's final, he will be the first number one seed uh, to win a Super Series title this year. And we're already in our third Super Series. from Chen Long because Lee Chong Wei is lightning quick coming to those follow-ups. Of course, the winner of our first two Super Series men's singles titles of the year, both left-handers, Lin Dan at the All England and then Kenta Momota in India. Unbelievable. That is a fabulous smash. Well, the number one and number two seeds contesting a final in men's singles is not as common as you might think. The last time it happened here at the Malaysian Open was 2011 when Lee Chong Wei beat Taufik Hidiyat. The last time it happened in a Super Series was the All England last year when Chen Long beat Jano Jorgensen. Oh, just oh, yeah, that's a challenge. I was just about to say he's missed that. I think I'm just on the line. Oh, we're having a bit of a disagreement, you yeah, and me, yeah. again. <laughs> well, I thought he just missed. No, you're right, Steve. Well done. Was it? Yeah, but it, it shows that the competition has become tighter both in the men's singles but in all the categories of badminton we don't have a, we haven't had a dominant figure um, we've had some that are dominating but but not just winning everything well so I recall Chen Long had a Quite a good year last year. Yes. 2015, but um, eight finals from 13 tournaments, winning yeah. seven of them. Yeah. It's Incl pretty decent. Including five Super Series. World Championship. Exactly. And I, I think it's great because it, it creates some excitement going into a tournament that you, you're not entirely sure who's going to win it and, and you have absolutely no idea who's going to be in the final. I think it's great. Yeah, I concur. We've had that in women's singles for the last couple of years, but not men's singles because, of course, Lee Chong Wei was fairly dominant in yeah. before his suspension. I mean, incredibly, this is his 59th Super Series tournament final. Yeah. He's already won 41 titles. 93rd career final.
Well, he's made the perfect start as the former champion against the defending champion. And, and the conditions here makes it difficult for Chen Long to get um, the correct length on his lifts. Normally, he plays a very patient game when he plays um, Li Chung Wei. And in the regular stadiums where most of the Super Series are played, it's possible to adjust your game. But here in, in uh, Malawati Stadium in Shanghai, you simply have to change your game a little bit. You have to be more aggressive because um, e even though you play the good side, you still have trouble getting the correct length. Here, Chin Long plays with the drift, and he has to be a little bit careful not to, to uh, put his lifts long, and that often makes them too short, which Li Chin Wei can then capitalize on. And that was deflected off the top of the net, which made the defense very, very difficult for Chen Long. Yeah, badly deflected. It's an accomplishment, even getting the racket on that one. leaping in front of the first service line, Chung Wei, and that makes the difference. Yeah. Well, That's interesting, Chen Long hasn't hit a winner from the back of the court yet. Do you think he needs to be more aggressive from the back? I mean, you've already said he's more of a patient player, but yeah. given the conditions, should he change that? Or not really? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was just looking at that one because uh, well, it was really close. Yeah, I, I, um, I don't think that he can go for a lot of um, backcourt winners against Li Chung Wei. Li Chung Wei has got a fantastic defense as well. So he's got to be patient. Okay. And, and I don't think there's any other way for him than to simply try to um, adapt Five, to nine. the conditions. We saw him do that yesterday when he was in really dire straits against uh, Jonathan Christie couldn't really keep the shuttles in out one side out the other side out long but uh, suddenly he got it all together yeah it was a remarkable comeback wasn't it that's a well well placed smash from uh, Chung Wei Yeah, not the most powerful. No, exactly, but very well placed. And in my opinion, it's so important for Chung Wei now to to keep playing efficient badminton, not let these small um, uh, show shots creep into his game. That's the way Chen Long should win rallies against um, Li Chong Wei. He, he should um, try these half attacks, and then if there's a bad defense from Chung Wei, he'll be ready on the front court. Oh, 
That's unbelievable. Well, he took that off the top Seven, of the tape. Ten. Magnificent from Chen Long. Look at that. It wasn't a bad drop from, from Chen Wei. It was fantastic. Fantastic return from Chen Long. Luck of the net courts <laughs> with Lee Chong Wei. And he has a four point advantage here in the mid game interval of the opening game. Yeah, nothing you can do about that, Chen Long. <laughs> Just nine minutes into the match. Hendro Wan and Tae Su Bok. These two coaches. And Charles Wanja, former world champion in the red shirt. This Lee Chong Wei's fourth tournament of the year for Chen Long. It's only his second. It's the number one seed at the All England, lost in the second round to teammate Shui Song. Yeah, and he's not playing Singapore either, so uh, I guess he's um, focusing on Thomas Cup and late. the upcoming Olympics. Well played by Chen Long, and he's, he's been challenging the net more than we normally see him do. Normally he's quite content lifting, but here he seems to take an, an extra shot at it at the net before he lifts in order to keep Chung Wei guessing, and that means that he cannot move a little early backwards and, and get in a good position. He needs to cover the net a little bit more than normal. And you see the deep position, he's still trying to play the net, Chen Long. Not successful this time, but um, I think in general it's a good idea. Fantastic return. Oh. Uh, the forehand defence blocked across court was one of the defen best defensive shots I think you'll ever see. That one. And then that shot there goes way out, out even out of the doubles line. And that's so rare. We see that from Chen Long, and that's a proof that the conditions are extreme. I feel that was two really important points for uh, for Li Cheng Wei here, because Chen Long was was starting to work his way into this first game, I think.
gone wide. Hard for Chin Long to get the accuracy that we normally see him play with, and I think maybe. Um, Maybe he's a little bit lucky that he's here in the final because he's had an easier way than uh, than Chung Wei has. Chung Wei has just been outstanding in all his matches. Only the most points he gave away in a game was 18 against someone who. Yeah, and he'd been 7 11 down in that game too. <laughs> yeah. 15 at. Six straight points. lift was actually long enough yeah it's going wide Four, well seven nine, straight points eight, has eight, put Lee Chong Wei in a very commanding position here in this opening game Nice backhand. What was that you were saying about uh, show shots? Yeah. And that yeah. backhand cross court net yeah. shot from Lee Chong Wei. Got him into trouble.
Oh, my word. Ah. No wonder the fans cheer. The sky's drop shot from Lee Chong Wei while off balance. That's the rare occasion that I've seen him off balance all week. But still managed to play a winner. That's superb. Game point opportunities for the former champion. Long opening game 21 13 to Lee Chong Wei. Little over 21 minutes. Watches it, watches it. Yes, it's long. How much that tells us, Steen? Oh, pretty equal distribution. Yeah. Um, 25 smashes all together. One in the middle, and then 13-11. That's um, probably pretty good. Well, six there, that Chen Long didn't get his racket on. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of cross smashes there, which I think is really important that, I mean, whether you distribute it in the sides um, equally, that's perhaps not so important, but, but it's important that you have cross smashes as well as straight smashes. Yeah. Uh, because in theory, this graphic could have been 11 straight smashes from one side and 13 straight smashes from another side. Yeah. And then it wouldn't be that uh, effective. So from this side of the court, we would expect um, Chen Long to have better control of his lifts. The problem for him is that the smashes from Li Chen Wei get a little extra speed from over here, gets a little help. Yeah. And what happens if Li Chen Wei manages to get Chen Long a little bit off balance? Can he control his shots then? No wonder he's looking to that corner, <laughs> Chen Long, because, I mean, that was 30, 40 centimeters out where he thought he, had, he was playing against the drift. And he is. There's just these sort of holes in the wind. Yeah, pockets. Yeah. was much closer.
incredible. He just pounced from that front service line to play the kill. That was a total emulation of the shot Chen Long made in the first game. Like uh, Li Chen Wei, he dragged the shuttle with him. for that and another one goes well well long but uh, <laughs> of course Chen Long he knows the conditions here but otherwise he must be thinking hey what's going on am yeah. I am I 12 years again or I never make mistakes like this As you can see he's not shying away from that corner he's trying to find the right pace. Well, that is incredible defense from Lee Chong Wei, and not just getting his racket to it, but the way he controlled it. That is fabulous. from Chen Long. To me, it looked in, but I won't rule out that the court could have touched outside. It was in. Yeah. And right now, Li Chung Wei must wish that um, Ryu will pass on the Olympics and they are to be held here in Shah Alam instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Long, one talent remaining. Play. It's going wrong. It's, oh, he's taking it. <laughs> How did he get that back, Chen Long? Off a deflected smash. Almost missed it. Well, I think the umpire has called a fault. Yeah. Now, was that taken before the shuttle crossed over the net? Let's have a look. Yes. Yeah, it was. Good spot by the umpire. Very good spot. Yeah, and no comment from Chen Long. He knew. 
he knew, and, and I was just thinking the same. I mean, he's conducting himself really well, as always, I have to say. Yeah. Um, he's giving yes. his best. He's, uh, he's not afraid to, uh, to show a little smile when he's unlucky or when things um, go against him, and, and I really like that about him. Um, I totally acknowledge the results of his uh, teammate uh, Lindan, but but as a character, I I'm more of a fan of uh, Chen Long. Simply, I mean, we don't know their characters off court. You're judging no. that by their yes, on court the, the way conduct. they conduct themselves yep. on court. Yep. Um, I think he does a he does a great job and is a great ambassador for badminton. Well, that deflection takes it wide. The net board deflection. And Lee Chong Wei appears to be in cruise control at the moment. Eight point advantage here in the second game, having already taken the first. It's a little comfort to uh, all the players that have lost this week and have lost by bigger numbers that they're used to, seeing that the same can happen to uh, Chen Long. Well, we haven't lost yet, but 21-8 uh, in the first game yesterday, that's unusual. 11-3 at the interval here, also unusual. Every point that Lee Chong Wei wins is greeted with an absolute roar from the fans here in Stadium Malawati. I'm starting to think uh, because I'm totally convinced that Lee Chong Wei will win this match. Uh, will, will it be an advantage or a disadvantage um, later on this year for the, for the big matches coming up at Thomas Cup and at the Olympics um, that he's winning this match here? And, I really can't decide because it must hurt a little bit on Chen Long. Even though he knows the conditions are, are difficult and, and are favoring uh, Li Chung Wei. And it must also put a lot of pressure on Li Chung Wei from, from the uh, spectators, from the fans and so on. Hey, you beat uh, Chen Long uh, quite easy on, on home soil for the third time in a row. So now you really got him. But but. I mean, that would be a false security. Absolutely. That's a very good point. So a 10-point advantage now to the 10-time former champion.
Oh, that's super. Yeah, what that's a, a super that's shot. That's a great shot. I was just thinking that one of the things that that Chen Long perhaps doesn't have as much as some other players is this uh, quick release smash. Um, we saw Chung Wei lose in India to Nan Wei of Hong Kong, and he definitely has this very, very short triggered smash movement that it's, uh, makes it harder to read the direction of the smashes. That, yeah. That's not something that Chen Long utilizes a lot. did go long at the back line. Quick thinking from Lee Chong Wei. Duck down, let the shuttle go over him. And it out. Well, he's had about three or four neck cords as Lee Chong Wei. <laughs> Well, you've got to ride your luck. <laughs> he brought his own net. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it isn't over yet, but I'm just thinking in my mind, when did we last see a reigning world champion lose, be completely outclassed as he has been so far today by Lee Chong Wei. Yeah. Well, it is indeed due to uh, the very difficult playing conditions here in uh, Stadium Malawati. And of course, also to the skills of uh, Li Chung Wei, but we must say that the, the conditions they um, they favor him quite a bit over most of the other players. It's his uh, quickness, his speed, and his uh, good defense. There's a challenge here from Li Chung Wei. The shot from Chen Long was called in. Yeah, it certainly was. Just one challenge a piece left in this second game. in front of us all on their feet this is a demonstration a master class and, oh, the, and the helpers are getting ready to prize ceremony <laughs> yeah well i don't think it'll be terribly long but under the circumstances i would really not want them to be too early Oh, indecision from Lee Chong Wei. So it's over. Six, eighteen. Half the pace again for precision.
Well, he's played such a positive game all week, to be honest, Liu yeah. Chong Wei. It's been absolutely fantastic, and nobody has been even near him. Yep. The fans chanting Lee Chong Wei's name. That's a good clear. Right into the corner. He couldn't have gone over there and placed it any better. Match point galore. Oh my goodness, service fault called. Service fault was called. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, match point opportunity. Yes. There we see Johan de Klerk. Malaysian Open title number 11. Lee Chong Wei. This is the Malaysian flag on the front of his shirt. And it's a pity we're not seeing the two men at the moment because they embraced and, as Steen Peterson was saying, Chen Long conducting himself very well indeed. But what a tournament, what a performance from Lee Chong Wei. Of course, he couldn't play last year. He was under suspension. But an 11th title. 2004, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and now 16. 2016, an 11th title here at the Malaysian Open. He was winning this title before the Super Series, and we're in the 10th year of the Super Series. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Well, a 42nd Super Series title for Lee Chong Wei. The second player today to win a 42nd Super Series title, which is a record equally. 21-13, 21-8, the margin of his victory. Three players now have 30, have 42 Super Series titles, but the other two over two disciplines, both of them in doubles and mixed doubles. That is quite extraordinary by Lee Chong Wei. <laughs> 